everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. Uh, this one is going to be about Typhoon and whether you should level him as far as you can this month or not. I've been hearing a lot of people talking about how far should they level Typhoon, it's getting down to the end of the month, how high should they take him. So <coughs> my thoughts on Typhoon are um, he's very, very strong. Uh, he has a, a great kit. And what I mean by that is he can heal, um, he can win solo, he can be a great hot tag option, um, and he has a sub so he can play play slowdown game too. So I would rank him, there's three showboats I would put ahead of him for sure. So I think the best showboats in the game are Godfather, Fiend, and Dango. So I would level those before Typhoon. But after that, I don't feel that anyone is better than him. Maybe is good. Maybe some of you will think other guys are better. However, once you have your main showboat leveled up, and I'll say this about most classes, I think it's a great idea to start rounding them out. Uh, rounding out your roster, having guys that do different things. Uh, one, nobody is going to heal better than Typhoon. Um, in the sense that he can also heal other people for you and I'll show you that later in this video. Um, two, his protect, protect gems are insanely strong. If you build him right, strap him up, gem defense him, no one's gonna kick out. So three, the tokens are free right now. So for a lot of you guys, Typhoon very well could be the best showboat um, on your roster. Uh, there's people that say he's slow. His first green move that makes yellows is 8 MP. Matt Hardy's f green is 8 MP and his yellow move often causes a force pin before you or the green move usually causes a force pin too so you don't even get to use it till turn three. Um, Typhoon I think is better than Matt Hardy. I would level him before Matt Hardy. I think he's definitely better. Um, so basically if you're on the fence I'd say level him. Do it now while you can. Uh, and the tokens are free. I took mine to four star gold. Uh, if you're a newer player, your roster's smaller, this guy's gonna help you out huge in blitz um, and stuff like that. He'll save you a ton of health packs because he can heal damaged guys uh, and stuff like that. So uh, we'll get into some gameplay and I'll talk about it more as we're doing the gameplay. Uh, first thing, we're gonna do the heal set. So um, I don't know if I have anyone damaged on my roster. It won't matter, but I'll just show you what I mean. We're going to take him um, on the road. And we're going to go to hell mode. And we're going to do the highest tag match um, right, right here. So we got 26k team, so 13k each. And we're going to go ahead and I'll tag him with Fandang Fandango just to show you um, how you can heal you guys. He's at the top here. Oh, also, part of what's great for Typhoon <coughs> is he's new gen. Um, quick, name a bunch of good new, gem, new gen guys on your roster that are four star gold. Probably a really short list. Uh, there's not a lot of good um, new gen wrestlers. So. The fact that he's new gen and quite good helps cover that era a ton. So that's another reason why I think he's definitely worth it to take up. Um, I didn't mention what his trainers do. Um, Bailey's going to add one protect gem more on his finisher. Rikishi, every match you're going to get more yellow gems. Uh, Rock is making more heal gems, so we can choose eight. And the... Uh, make heal gems into yellow gems is a visual glitch. That's just six. Uh, I do have max tour perks. It's at the end of the month and I get them for farming. So he's going to start completely ready to go turn one. Um, and if we can get the blues here, which we can, I'll do it just to take some damage off of him. Because uh, we'll refill the blues because we're also increasing the generation because of the tour perk. Normally, you might just hold off on this move. Um, so, yeah. That's our six. That 
That cascade. I, I did that really dumb, actually. Um, because I shouldn't have done the four match there. But that's okay. Since I don't have uh, blue and I need to get to blues to fill Dango because I didn't play that smart, we'll put some protect gems down. So we don't take very much damage. If Dango was damaged, he would heal a bunch. So we're going to place these all right in this area. Tag Dango in. Each one of those um, heal gems is almost 10k, 9,600, and we have eight of them. So it's almost an 80k heal for one of your injured guys. So anyone with a choose move, an area move, um, you can heal up. So that would heal 80k for Dango. And you don't have to do it against a hard opponent. Um, I just happened to choose this one. Uh, you could do it against anyone where you don't cause a pin and heal your guys to full without taking any damage. So reason one why to use Typhoon. He's an amazing healer both for himself or in a tag situation. So we're going to jump in here and do some solo stuff now. And then... Um, I'm a little bit laggy tonight, so I'm going to fix that on the next one. So solo, I need green, so we'll just go against KO for green TP. And then I'll show the actual trainers that I didn't show at the start of last time, like what they do. And I didn't have Bailey on him, actually, so that was one less there. So he's starting with uh, four more blues. Uh, Rock's making the four more heal gems, and Bailey's going to be in the next build anyway. Um, Earthquake would be better than Bailey uh, if I had Earthquake, and I d but I don't yet, so... And then Rikishi is making more yellows. Or more MP on a yellow match, rather. So we're going to switch these moves out, and we're going to run the green double yellow. And these moves are not maxed yet, so they're the green one will just get better. going to swap out Rock for Booker T, Harlem Heat. Most of you should have him. And we're going to swap out Lawler. So normally you would not be ready turn one. You'd need a green match. Again, tour perks are active, so mine will be ready turn one. I incidentally feel like tour perks are worth it because of how much farming I do and how much easier it makes it. And Steel, we're starting with more green MP. I do have a strap on him. Um, two slots unlocked and the uh, armor bonus. So um, he's got some armor reduction too.
I like this moveset quite a bit. Um, it's pretty good. Like I said, it'd be better with Ur Earthquake because then his Protect Gems are going to be even stronger. Um, but we're choosing nine Protect Gems of 4,500 strength. That's quite a bit of damage for them to, to kick out of. This move is pretty great. Reduces their dem damage damage by 30% for five turns. And it is stackable. And I do have the extra turn strap, which is, as you can see, really awesome when it goes off. So if you happen to get that from the talent up and you got the extra turn strap, then he's even better. This is going to be pretty tough for him to kick out, plus we have the reduction in place. You can see it's healing back up to almost full every time. Easy win. So there's reason two why I feel like 100% you should take him up. And if you look at all of these guys, none of them are very hard to get. Rikishi used to be really rare, but he's been... Um, been given out a lot more recently so um, no one in this set is particularly hard to get in any of them that uh, we're showing tonight so the last build we're gonna keep um, all of the same trainers and we're just gonna swatch swap out uh, some moves we're gonna get the submission in there Again, steal for four M MP, green, Booker T making more protects, Bailey for the additional protect. That 15% isn't uh, useful here. We're just using her for the extra protect gem. And then Rikishi make an extra yellow MP on a match. Yeah, so again, for, for a free guy, he's incredible, super useful. Um, He's going to be solid all around showboat for you. Uh, he has a great tag link with Earthquake. Uh, coming in as a hot tag from Dango with both yellows loaded would be amazing after Dango dropped a bunch of protect gems. So definitely, in my opinion, level him up as much as you can while the tokens are free. It won't hurt you in any way. And he's going to be a really strong addition to your roster. Okay. Grab that green here. So when I have a sub, I won't use it until I'm more close to ready for my finisher. Just making it a little easier to negate a bad board where you don't have matches. So now because he has a move ready, I'll definitely use the sub to drain him. So the point of this sub is he's making nine random submissions. Um, they're doing pretty solid damage, but all of the ones remaining also turn into protect gems. So when we get to that finisher, it's going to be very difficult to kick out of. A little bit slower than the yellow move set. Um, maybe a little bit more protected from bad boards though. And 
if for some reason he gets out, we're going to be ready to go with making more yellows again. But I don't think he's going to be getting out. The AI really doesn't like to break loot boxes, so I will usually put those on loot boxes, and even if they do happen to break them, that wastes a whole turn of damage. So that's a pretty great spot to put your protect gems usually. There you go, another super easy win. So right here is why I say you should absolutely take him as far as you can. So I hope this video helps guys, um, helps it makes the decision to take Typhoon up or not easier for you. Highly recommend him. Take him up, level him, use him. If you got the strap, it's even better. If you get the skip turn on the strap, even better. Great showboat to add to your roster. Gives you a lot more depth, a lot more utility, and covers a really weak era in new generation. So get your Typhoon leveled up for, for free with uh, tokens while you can. Um, thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe, uh, join my Discord server. Appreciate all the support. Have a good night, guys.